I'm Maura Callahan, Offsite Adoptions Coordinator for the Maryland SPCA, and today with my rescue dogs, Mr. Darcy and Booker, we're going to talk to you about pet clothes, form versus function. Many people wonder why dress up your pet. Many people wonder why not. A lot of people treat their pets like family, and that's how my pups are for me. So when we're thinking of family Halloween costumes, we include our pets. Remember when you're thinking about dressing up your pet the first time you expose them to it. Make sure it's positive. Booker, who's <laughs> a little drooly today because of excitement, likes very, very high reward treats. And what I do is I put a few in my hand, have the object, like this shirt for example, over my arm, and just let him take the treats directly from my hand before I ever try to put the shirt on. You want to repeat that several times so that way he gets a positive reinforcement that this is a good thing. Then after he's been exposed to it, go ahead and put it over his head gently. I always recommend things that easily fit. Nothing that changes the gait or the walk of the pet in the beginning because you want them to feel like they already have it on. So once I put the shirt on him, I gently put each paw in between each section of putting his head in, putting each individual paw, make sure to treat and reward. The importance of this is to make sure he has a positive introduction with everything and that he's choosing to do it. Remember, a pet that can sense to what they're doing is a lot more happy. It's very important when fitting a dog for clothing to make sure it's the right fit. But an important thing to remember is to make sure that it's not too tight, that you can put your fingers through, that they have circulation. The last thing you want is to cut off circulation and make them uncomfortable. But it's important to make sure they can still fully function and they can do everything they want to do as a pup, going to the bathroom, getting treats. If something's blocking their face or blocking their vision, it might make them nervous. Some of the things you'll see is Booker putting his front feet in a costume and tripping. That means that it's not the right fit for him. It just wasn't the right costume, but it was the right size here. Darcy was also wearing a front fitted costume. However, it was too tight over his shoulders, which was causing him to push back, which is making him uncomfortable and making him not like the experience. And overall, we want them to have fun and we want them to enjoy it. Because if we're having fun wearing costumes, we assume our pets will. That's not always the case very important for you to do slow introductions, repeat the treats, and make sure that it's a happy moment for both you and your pet. Mr. Darcy here is actually a trained trick dog. He is an advanced trick dog, so when he goes for commercials or for shoots, sometimes the directors need him to wear something. Oftentimes t-shirts, sometimes hats, sometimes the weirdest thing like a bow tie. It's th things that we don't think of as odd, but it's odd for him to have them on his body. Because of that, I expose him to everything. Boots, bow ties, shirts, hats, beards, things that you wouldn't think we'd put on a dog, but we do because of what he does. Sometimes we need to dress our pets for our pet's safety. Some dogs, often dogs who have very light skin and very light coloring, such as a white pit bull often get sunburned, which people don't think of. So sometimes they have to wear t-shirts to protect them from the sun. Other dogs get very nervous and they need a jacket to hug them tight to make them feel secure. Some parts of pet clothing you don't think are useful but actually are. Mr. Darcy actually wears rain boots. One is for safety. When we're hiking, we don't want glass to get in his paws. Some pets wear boots because their feet got burned on hot cement and now the safety of wearing the boot keeps their feet protected. Bunsmith here is my favorite little orange tabby who's recovering from a skin allergy. He has to wear a very cute lion mane and a onesie to keep him from scratching himself till his medicine kicks in. So there are more reasons besides the fun that pets wear costumes and pets wear clothing. Pets sometimes need it just for a little extra support. Mr. Darcy and Booker here have been exposed to many costumes, but they still have things they don't like, and it's important to recognize their signs of things they don't like. Some dogs are perfectly fine with jackets, but hate hats. Some dogs are perfectly fine with hats, 
but don't like front-facing costumes. Things to look for are stiffness, uneasiness, avoiding eye contact. If Booker doesn't want something, he won't pay attention to me or my hand. He will completely ignore us and walk away. If you learned something new today, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, right?